In the last presentation, I gave you this problem as homework and now we will solve it. The function y is equal to a and b or a complement and a c. I have just eliminated the last term b and c because this is redundant. This is redundant term. We can solve this by using the redundancy theorem. This theorem is also called as consensus theorem. And it is a very important in solving the Boolean algebra. It is actually the trick. This is the trick in solving the Boolean algebra. And uh, let's see what are the conditions and how to use this theorem. The first condition is there must be three variables. And we have three variables a, b and c are the three variables in our function y. The first condition is satisfied. The second condition is each variable is repeated twice. And uh, the repetition may be in the normal form or in the complemented form. There is no problem in that. Like a is repeated here and here. Here it was a and here it is a complement. b is also repeated c is also repeated so all the variables are repeated condition number two is also satisfied the condition number three says one variable is complemented and a is complemented whereas b and c are not complemented and the last condition says take the complemented variable you have to take the terms in which the complemented variable is there a was complemented so i took a b or a complement C. In the last term there was B C but no A therefore I omitted B C. So this is how you have to use the redundancy theorem. It is a very simple trick to apply and uh, you can also prove it. So let's first prove it then we will see a few more examples on it. The function y is A and B or A complement and C or B and C. I can definitely write it like this we will use this one in this step a and b or a complement and c or b and c this one can be written as a or a complement i will use the distributive law now i will open this and i have a and b and c or a complement and b and c now you can see a b is common so i will take a b as common and here i'm left with one and from here i will have c whereas a complement c is common in this two terms so i will have a complement c and from here i'm left with one and from here i will have a b and uh, you very well know that if anything is odd with 1, the output is going to be 1. So I have A and B or A complement and C. This is what we got from the redundancy theorem. And you can also prove it like this. So this was our problem and we can directly write the answer like uh, this. We have to omit the term in which the complemented variable is not there. This is the proof. You can also prove it by using the truth table that I will not do because it is easy and you can do it by yourself. Now let's solve a few examples on the redundancy theorem. The example number one, the function f is equal to a and b or b and c complement or a c the first step is to see whether there are three variables or not and we have three variables a b c each variable is repeated twice and definitely each variable is repeated twice a a b b c complement c the third case is one variable is complemented and c is complemented whereas b and a are not take the complemented variables so the reduced function will be b c complement we have to take the complemented variable that is c so we have b c complement or a c a and b is omitted let's see the second example in this we have function f as a and b complement or b c or a c and this one this one is homework for you you have to post your answer in the comment section the value for the function f the reduced value and uh, the example number three i will solve the example number two is for you a or b and 
A complement or C and B or C. In this again we have to check for the three variables. We have three variables A, B and C. Each variable is repeated twice. A is repeated twice, B is repeated twice and C is repeated twice. One variable is complemented. Yes, A is complemented and finally we have to take the complemented variable. So if this is function f, we have A or B. I'm taking the complemented variable that is A and A complement or C and this one is omitted because in this there is no A. Let's solve example number 4. In this the function is G and it is equal to A or B and B complement or C and A or C. This is homework for you. You have to post the answer this one and uh, the fifth example is very important because it is different. We have A complement e complement or A C complement or B complement C complement. In this you can see all the terms are complemented except A. So we have to just follow this steps and I will write function as A complement B complement or A C complement. We will omit this one because in this we don't have A. A is the only thing that is non-complemented. Initially we were looking for one variable that is complemented but when all the variables are complemented and one variable is not then we have to see the variable that is not complemented and A is the one which is not complemented that's why we have to take A and A is there in the first term in complemented form and in the second term in the non-complemented form so we took them. This is the answer. So please post your answers for the example number 2 and example number 4 in the comment section. This is all for the redundancy theorem. It is a nice trick to solve your questions because you cannot solve these problems directly by the rules, the standard rules of the Boolean algebra. You have to go through this process and each and every student will not go through this process and they will say it is already minimized. That is not true. So this is all for this presentation. From the next presentation we will start the sum of product form.